Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, so today I want to talk about um, when I went back to uh, mainland China, my dating experience there. Uh, so um, it wasn't very good, and um, to say the least, it was. Um, I would say I expected it to be a lot better. Uh, so, you know, um, when I first started out, I had problems with dating in you know, UK and in in London. And my thinking was, you know, um, if I moved back to my, you know, where I was born at least, um, you know, people are similar to me. They, they also, I speak fluently mainland Chinese and, uh, you know, I will have a much easier time. I have a great time. And dating would be, you know, wonderful. But in reality, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't like that. And actually, it was <clears throat> a lot tougher than I thought. And it was due to several factors, I guess. Uh, you know, culturally, um, they're very different um, compared to people, even like American-born Chinese or. Asians here in the, in the UK or in, in Europe, um, they never love them. They've never really been outside of China. So that could be also a reason. But today I'm going to talk about what are the mainly the reasons why I didn't enjoy my time. And also I don't recommend people doing it. Um, if you, you know, if you really can't find dates in, you know, in your area, maybe you should move to the bigger city rather than bring, let's say, bring a man and Chinese girl out to the West and live her, with her here. There are a lot of people doing that. And I know, personally know someone who brought, he went back to China and in, uh, his parents introduced, uh, his parents introduced him to a um, Chinese girl and brought here to, to Brought her, brought her here to the West, and then it does work out, but I, I would say it's not ideal. And so let let's let me just um, first uh, talk a little bit about my background. So when did I go to China and work? Uh, so I was in you know, so obviously I started out in the UK, and you know uh, friends of my channel probably know that when I, when I first started out, um, it wasn't very successful um, had trouble you know talking um, getting a girlfriend talking to girls to to you know go out on dates and stuff and so my thinking was like you know um, if I went back to China and went to China or not back to China because actually I lived more in the West so if I went to China you know people everybody's um, of the same race as me, that everybody is Asian, so it would naturally become easier, right? Uh, you speak the same language, similar cultural background, I would say, maybe. But in reality, it was very different. And, um, you know, so you, you have, you'll be much more like um, higher status because you're an expat. And um, so, yeah, and also you speak, I mean, I was working also like, in a foreign company so I guess that would probably be a better status but um, I don't say the reason why I didn't like it um, well my experience have been living in this was in Shanghai right so a lot of people have um, voiced the concerns about dating you know, people in Shanghai um, although it's the biggest city in China it's um, very materialistic you can say a bit like New York you know uh, people look at you like how much money you got but um, also the girls are they that have a bad reputation of being like gold diggers and the especially the Chinese um, locals that they, they are very uh, um, let's say materialistic or um, let's say very cheap sometimes people say um, so they're not very chill I would say, um, yeah, they have this reputation, and I would say, in Shanghai, I didn't really meet that many local girls. Um, but however, there was a lot of, of girls from like other cities in China. So, for example, 
I've met girls from Hunan and <clears throat> some from the nearby provinces, Zhejiang and Jiangsu provinces, which are bordering Shanghai, which is actually where I'm originally from. But, <clears throat> you know, um, so you think like, wait, these guys, these girls, they are really where you originally came from. So, or where you were born and you guys just say, share a lot of similarities, right? But what I found is about when you, when you go on dates and stuff, like, um, this is actually not true at all. What happens is I've, what I found a lot of the girls, they're not just not interesting. I just found them a little quite boring. I don't know if it's to do with the fact that they've, you know, they have limited information and it's a very mono or homogeneous culture, whatever you call it. Um, so, and the main, the main um, theme in the society today in, 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 in the society is uh, making money. Um, so, um, with that, uh, there's a lot of pressures to make money in China and there's a lot more cutthroat. It's more like a dog-eat-dog -dog situation compared to, let's say, Europe, where you have more of a relaxed uh, lifestyle. So that impacts girls' mindset too. So they're, if they're not from the Shanghai, the city, right? They're looking at girls who, they're looking at set, settling down at least in the city. Because if you think about it, house prices in the big cities are very expensive. and. You know, some people, some girls, they never actually earn enough money to <laughs> to buy uh, to buy a, a house, a, a flat in in Shanghai, right? So the the salaries are very low for these a lot of these girls, um, <clears throat> most people. So yeah, they are they looking for sugar daddy? Maybe it's kind, of, but they're not really also looking for sugar daddy either. Like they don't want older guys either. Um, a lot of the girls do, but though the I think the average girl is like doesn't right um so the problem I found was that if you go on like dates in china it's the the main thing is I found just people not that interesting uh you know they don't haven't really traveled they haven't really um explored the western ideologies you know um they don't have this uh, authentic mindset sometimes which I found it just boring um, you know like because the thing is society did teach people how to make money but who doesn't like money everybody likes money right um, I don't really see much authenticity in like for example if compared to like Latina girls they're, like, they're fun they're interesting they're outgoing and um, they have some it's not only that but they have something going for them right the, 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 that's the main thing I found about Chinese women also, the second thing I want to point out is like going on dates in China in felt a little bit, sometimes it felt, a lot of times felt like a job interview because they, they'll be asking questions like, oh, what do you do? What do you like? You know, those kind of things like they're kind of screening you and it makes it very awkward. Like for me, it's just boring and it's too rigid. Um, these are like the stuff that you probably want to know later stage, right? But <clears throat> it's, yeah, it's like, it's kind of boring to talk about it, to have that kind of mindset in in a dating environment. Um, I don't really meet that kind of thing. Let's say, for example, in, in Thailand, people don't ask you those things when you first meet. Maybe they will ask you what you do, like, that's it. But they won't, like, the whole conversation is not boring it's not centered around like boring subjects right lame lame subjects so i felt the the the, the dates were a little bit more like job interviews which was boring <clears throat> and um also i found but a lot of, a lot of you guys would probably think like oh i'm a white guy so um when i went to china all the girls loved me right and um, you know, it didn't feel like interview. They they were they were jumping on me, right? The the thing is, like they the when you're a white guy, the the men and Chinese girls they they're really putting you on a pedestal. 
you, you are like already uh you know up here and they're they're here and right like they're they're gonna make it easier for you they don't ask like, the stupid questions like right they 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 it's a lot of them just want to hook up um so a white guy versus like an indian or other non-white people they're, they're gonna be much harder right um no i don't pray no i want to talk too much about race but that's how it is uh do, i do see some asian guys with local girls but um i found a lot of them a lot of the relationships are just a little bit awkward um and uh it was you know um it wasn't bore it wasn't that interesting the thing is like if you think about it the fun girls they're gonna go if they're probably gonna go for expat more white population right so um when whereas that with the the local asian guys they'll be like okay so they use a logical mindset and then it's completely different where the actual you know the um the the meetup is more like a <clears throat> kind of um uh restricted more kind of boring so yeah i mean that's my take of the whole situation where um i didn't enjoy it at all